Hello, truth seekers, and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. It's your favorite neighborhood critic back at it again, and boy oh boy, do I have a spicy royal roast for you today. Grab your popcorn and settle in, because we're about to dive deep into the latest drama that's got everyone from Buckingham to Beverly Hills buzzing. But before we delve into further discussion, if you haven't subscribed, I mean, Come on guys, what are you waiting for? Hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell ASAP. So, now, our beloved Princess Kate, warrior that she is, summons up the courage to share her cancer diagnosis with the world. It's a moment that has us all reaching for the tissues, right? The whole planet is collectively holding its breath, sending prayers, good vibes, and virtual hugs to this incredible woman who's facing the fight of her life with grace and dignity. But wait, what's that sound? Oh, it's just the distant rumble of two attention-seeking missiles launched from Montecito, California. That's right, folks. Harry and Meghan, our favorite royal renegades, decided that this was the perfect moment to remind everyone that they exist. Talk about timing, huh? Now, let me tell you, I've seen some shameless PR moves in my time, but this one takes the cake, frosting, and the whole darn bakery. Just a measly 100 minutes after Kate's heart-wrenching announcement, bam, Harry and Meghan drop a promo for their new Netflix show about, wait for it, polo? Yes, polo. Because apparently what the world really needs right now is a show about rich people hitting balls with mallets while sitting on horses. I mean, come on, let's break this down for a second, shall we? On one side, we've got Kate, future queen, mother of three, beloved by millions, showing true courage in the face of adversity. She's opening up about a deeply personal struggle, not for attention, but to raise awareness and give hope to others facing similar battles. It's the kind of moment that reminds you what true nobility looks like. And on the other side, we've got Harry and Meghan, two people who wouldn't know subtlety if it rode up on a polo pony and smacked them with a mallet. They're out here hawking a show about a sport so elite, most of us peasants would need a small loan just to watch it in person. Talk about reading the room, folks. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. Maybe it was just a coincidence. Maybe they didn't know. Oh, honey. In the words of the great Yoda, coincidence, I think not. This is Hollywood PR 101, and Megan's been in the game long enough to know exactly what she's doing. It's like they've got a radar for any royal news that might steal their thunder, and they're determined to rain on every parade that doesn't feature them as the Grand Marshals. But here's the kicker. Their little ploy backfired spectacularly. Instead of stealing the spotlight, they ended up looking like two kids throwing a tantrum in the corner while the adults are having a serious conversation. It's almost, almost funny if it wasn't so darn disrespectful. Let's talk about Prince Harry for a hot second. This guy used to be the lovable royal rogue, right? The cheeky prince who we all rooted for. Now? He's like that friend who got a new girlfriend and suddenly forgot how to be a decent human being. It's like watching a car crash in slow motion, except the car is his reputation and he's pressing the gas pedal with both feet. And Megan? Oh, Megan, Megan, Megan. From suits to unsuitable in record time. She waltzed into the royal family like she was auditioning for the role of disruptor-in-chief, and boy, did she nail the part. It's like she looked at centuries of tradition and protocol and said, Nah, let's spice this up a bit. Maybe add some Hollywood drama, a dash of victim narrative, and a sprinkle of let's air all the family's dirty laundry on Oprah. But let's circle back to the real issue here, the sheer audacity of trying to piggyback on Kate's moment. It's like showing up to a funeral in a party hat. It's not just tone deaf, it's full on tone dead. And for what? To promote a show about polo? I mean, if you're going to be this shameless, at least make it about something relatable. Maybe Harry and Meghan extreme couponing or keeping up with the Markles. At least then we could pretend they're trying to connect with us common folk. You know, there's a saying, never attribute to malice that which can be adequately explained by stupidity. But in this case, I'm not sure which is worse. Are they really this calculated, or are they just so out of touch that they genuinely thought this was okay? Either way, it's a bad look, folks. A look so bad, it makes those ridiculous fascinators they wear to royal weddings seem like high fashion. And let's not forget, this isn't the first time they've pulled stunts like this. It's becoming their brand at this point. Got a royal celebration happening? 
don't worry, Harry and Meghan will find a way to make it about them. Family crisis? Perfect time for a tell-all interview. It's like they've got a playbook called How to Alienate Your Family and Infuriate a Nation in 10 Easy Steps. But here's the thing that really gets me. They had a chance to do so much good. They had a platform. They had goodwill. They had the world at their feet. They could have been a bridge between the monarchy and the modern world. Instead, they chose to burn that bridge, salt the earth, and then complain about how hard it is to cross the river. It's sad, really. Because underneath all this drama, there's a family that's hurting. There are real people with real feelings, dealing with real issues. Kate's facing a battle that no one should have to face, and instead of rallying around her, Harry and Meghan are off playing polo and peddling their latest vanity project. You know what would have been a classy move? A simple statement of support, maybe a quiet phone call? Heck, even just staying silent for a day or two would have been better than this PR circus. But no, they had to make sure we all remembered that they exist, that they're still relevant, that they're still whatever it is they think they are. And the saddest part? They're not even good at it. This latest move is so transparent, so obviously self-serving, that it's actually making people sympathize more with the royal family. It's like they're the best PR team the monarchy never hired. Every time they pull a stunt like this, they make William and Kate look even more dignified, more royal, more worthy of respect. So, what's the lesson here, folks? Maybe it's that true class can't be bought, no matter how many Netflix deals you sign. Maybe it's that there's a fine line between being a rebel and being a jerk, and Harry and Meghan are doing parkour on that line. Or maybe it's simply that sometimes the best thing you can do is just shut up and show some respect. In the end, this whole debacle just proves what we've all been thinking for a while now. Harry and Meghan are so desperate for the spotlight, they'd crash their own grandmother's funeral if they thought it would get them a few more Instagram followers. It's time they realize that no amount of polo ponies or Netflix specials can buy you class or respect. Those things, my friends, are earned. Something Kate's been doing her entire royal life, and something Harry and Meghan seem to have forgotten entirely. So here's my message to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Grow up, show some respect, and for the love of all that's holy, read the room. The world doesn't revolve around your PR schedule. There are bigger, more important things happening, like a beloved princess fighting cancer, and your petty attempts at stealing the limelight aren't just failing, they're making you look worse with every try. And to Princess Kate, you've got this. The whole world is rooting for you, and no amount of Hollywood hijinks can overshadow your grace, strength, and dignity. You're showing us all what real royalty looks like, and honey, it's not found on a polo field in California. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.